our loved one today. What does your bookshelf say about you? Well, maybe more than you might think. In recent months, those of us who love nothing more than a snoop through someone else's bookshelves have looked out. The literary lifestyles of the rich and famous have also been exposed. A forensic investigation by the New York Times threw up some intriguing insights. I kind of, you know, shot my eyesight <laughs> doing this project. Gal Beckerman, editor at the New York Times Book Review, led the investigation. It is sort of a weird, curious insight into, you know, at the very least, there's sort of intellectual uh, interests, uh, but there are deeper levels too. You can really get a sense of, you know, what kind of person this is based on what they enjoy reading. Some celebrity bookshelves are reasonably predictable, like the discovery that horse racing fan Prince Charles enjoys the work of pulp novelist and former jockey Dick Francis. What does it say about Kate Blanchett then, that she owns all 20 volumes of the Oxford English Dictionary? Now surely nobody would arrange a bookshelf to project a more intellectual image of themselves, would they? Hello? Hello Sam, it's Nick here, how are you? Well, Sam Gosling is a professor of psychology at the University of Texas and Austin, and he's done extensive research investigating what our personal possessions reveal about our personalities, and he's highly trained in spotting a misleading bookcase. There are three general things that I try to do when I'm going in, kind of like snooping around a space. So the first thing to do is ask, what is it? So in this case, in, in, in terms of a bookshelf, it's like, what are the books that are there? So what are the topics? The next is to say, look at something like the state of the object, because that tells you how much it's used. Has the book been opened? Has you know, uh, uh, is there are the corners bent over? Is there you know crumbs in the, in it where people have been reading, eating, and those sorts of things? And then the other important thing is the location, because the location will often tell you the sort of psychological function of it. So if you want to know someone's true reading habits, look in their bedroom, not in their front room. You can also tell a lot about a person's character by whether or not they have a broad or narrow variety of books. The most chaotic system going. Or an even bigger giveaway, mountains of books with bookmarks stuck in the first 10 or 15 pages. The bookshelf can be a design choice as much as a practical one, so we thought we'd get a few tips on bookshelf bedecking from an expert. A real bookcase has to be as um, as reflective of the personality of the person that inhabits the space as possible. To me, the joy of a bookcase is very much its, um, its disorder. You know, it's very much its, its uh, uh, sort of strange combinations of things, combinations of colours, combinations of images that come together to, to give you these sort of surreal and actually sh relatively inspiring uh, moments where you suddenly go, wow, that, that, that looks very different, that looks very now. It brings you a sort of a, uh, an element of controlled chaos theory if you get it right. And like every owner, hey, bear with me. every bookshelf can have its secrets. It does actually lead into the back cave, or at least where we keep the gym. I'll say goodbye. I think we leave it there. Very good. Nick Sheridan, BBC News.